Today's pet advice segment is sponsored by University Veterinary Care Center. Dr. Travis Gratton with University Veterinary Care Center is joining us. And Dr. Gratton, we're continuing our conversation from last time yeah. about the virus that causes rabbit hemorrhagic disease. That's a tough one to, <laughs> it's a tough one to say in the morning. It, it is. <laughs> for cute little bunnies, it's a big, big phrase. It is, absolutely. So. Well, for those who maybe missed our last conversation, just give us a, a brief overview of that virus. Yeah, so it's a relatively new virus in this country. Uh, came in on the, on the West Coast, uh, has spread pretty much across the Rockies and especially down through the Southwest. Um, and what's unique about it is that it spreads fairly rapidly and easily between the different groups of rabbits. So wildlife, um, the, the jackrabbits out in western Kansas can can get it, and in the southwest uh, parts of the country, uh, cottontails certainly, and all the domestic breeds as well. So it's become a, a little bit bigger threat. We'll talk a little bit more about that spread, um, and especially for people who maybe have pet rabbits. Is it something that they really need to be concerned about? It is. It has not been reported in Kansas yet, but it is in the states uh, nearby, including one of the border counties in Colorado. Oh, close. So it is <laughs> essentially a matter of time, and I don't think the rabbits care about where the state line is, so we're probably, probably not <laughs> going to find it in Kansas any time. Um, and, and so because it, it is spread by wildlife. I think it, everybody um, in the hierarchy of animal health uh, thinks that it is going to spread across the rest of uh, the country, including Kansas, and will be here sooner or later. Yeah, just a, a matter of time. But a vaccine was recently uh, given emergency use authorization for use in, in rabbits here in the U.S. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, the the vaccine uh, developed up in South Dakota uh, by a, a company um, there, and it has been approved. And um, at least their limited studies uh, shows that it is very effective. Uh, it is a two dose vaccine where we get. Uh, the initial one and then three weeks later there have not so far been too many side effects other than what you would expect kind of the injection site reactions and, and those kinds of uh, things where we get a little sore or a little mopey or achy and lethargic but so far it seems to be uh, fairly safe and um, very very effective against it in actual challenge studies so unfortunately they did <laughs> expose them to the, the virus so. mm -hmm. Should people who have pet rabbits or maybe they're involved in 4-H or organizations that show rabbits and get rabbits around each other, should they be reaching out to their veterinarians about that vaccine? They should definitely consider it, and especially as the, the year goes on, um, I think we're going to see it as it gets uh, across the state and, and continues to spread uh, that, you know, those who go out, um, and because it is in wildlife, um, you know, even, uh, you know, those who have little enclosures outside to go munch on the the, the you know, dandelions and that type of stuff. Um, it is spread through fecal oral route, so any place a rabbit has defecated, it's other secretions, so urine, uh, respiratory secretions, they don't have to be in direct contact. The virus is very stable in the environment, survives heat of the southwest, it oh, survives man. the cold of the northern tier states, um, and it can be tracked in on shoes. Um, so, you know, if you're working in the yard, once it gets here, you definitely want to have shoes for the yard <laughs> and, and not bring them in to where you're rabbit is if you have a house rabbit, but definitely the exhibition rabbits in 4-H clubs, you know, they're going to be out and around other rabbits and other people who are handling rabbits. And so, yeah, those guys particularly should be vaccinated. Scary stuff. I'm glad there is now a vaccine for it, however. Yeah, it's so that, available that is some good news. Contact uh, us or MedGene, the company that makes it, has uh, the uh, information on their website. Our website will have all the links to the questions and answers, and uh, we've got it in stock. Okay, Dr. Gratton, thank you so much. And if you'd like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to universityvetcare.com.